Travel Across America with me, Stahican. What a beautiful place. We got there via Lake Chelan. Uh, you need to get around a bicycle? An old truck? Well, there are a variety of ways. Foot or horse traffic? Ski touring? Or a car that comes with your cabin? Welcome to Stahican, Lake Chelan National Recreation Area. This is The Landing, where you can find a restaurant, general store, and information. The Golden West Visitor Center is closed, and the North Cascade buses are not running, so you'll have to get around on your own. The general store is open, and they have just about everything. You would not believe the great souvenirs that they have for sale. There is the McKellar Cabin Trail. It's a 15-minute self-guided trail. You might as well do it. It'll get you warmed up for the rest of your stay. Did you need to mail something? Oh, yes, you need to mail yourself a postcard. We met the postmaster. She's really nice. What next? You'll find information about the community, places to go, ways to get around, and this great map that gives you an idea of where the roads are. Well, there's really one road and it splits, and where all the trails are to help you decide what you would like to do with the time that you have available. This insert is the Stahican Landing, where we are. There are shuttle buses that will take you to the different hot spots, and of course, we came in on a ferry. There are two main ferry services, the Stahican Ferry and the Lake Chelan Boat Company. Since the visitor center is closed, you'll have to get most of your information ahead of time or there where the information is posted at the landing. We will be doing a full video on the hikes that we have done. You won't want to miss that upcoming video. As I mentioned, there's a bakery shuttle and a shuttle bus that takes you to all types of adventures. And the tickets are extremely reasonable. Our friends are the bus drivers. And there is one that goes specifically to Rainbow Falls. We will be going to Rainbow Falls in this video. You won't want to miss the springtime. And then when you see the winter pictures, you will flip. You can always rent a bicycle. I think this might be one of the better ways to tour around because you can go at your own pace. If you're physically fit enough to rent a bicycle, this is one of the better choices and least expensive, I should add that part. You will want to stop in at this little shop. It's the fly fishing shop and the gentleman there will help you with any needs that you haven't planned out before you got there, like renting a side-by-side -side or going on a fly fishing trip, which I recommend booking that well in advance. One of the first places you will see is the garden. Many of the times we've gone there, we weren't able to see anything blooming or growing because we were there in off season. We prefer to go places in off season. The gentleman's products are organic. While we were there, he had raw honey, maple syrup, goat cheese, and yogurt. We bought some of the goat cheese. Do you see the bell? Can you recognize what it's made of? If you think you know what this bell is made of, leave a comment below. It makes a lovely sound. The bakery is only a quarter of a mile away. You will want to stop in. They are seasonal. During the peak season, they are open every day, but in off seasons, they're open only on weekends, and sometimes they're completely closed, and that really bums out the locals. You will also want to respect the private residences. This is a national recreation area, which means private residences are scattered throughout the land. All right, here we are at the Stahican Pastry Company. It's world renowned. This is a good place to get refreshments, breads, pies, and ice cream. It's owned by locals, of course. This is the bakery bus shuttle, and you can see here people rode their bikes. Do you see the car we're using? It's on the other side of the shuttle. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? And if you have, thank you. What should we order? Ooh, a new vanilla matcha latte. I don't know exactly what that is, but I think I'm gonna order one of those. You can just get regular drip coffee, self-serve. Look at these desserts. They're all fresh made there at the bakery. And this is what most people hone in on, or at least we hone in on, the cinnamon rolls and the sticky buns. We got one of each. Do you think that vanilla matcha latte is going to offset all that? I don't think so. But hey, we're in Stahican. We're at the bakery. It's time to splurge. Next stop, Rainbow Falls. There is a footpath only and a roadway for cars and bikes. These falls are breathtaking. Hike with me to get a closer look and hear the sounds of the falls. When sunlight strikes the mist wafting from the falls, a rainbow often appears as the chilly mist drifts into the adjacent forest to your left. 
It fosters trees, plants, and animals that require abundant moisture, like the tall western red cedars and the delicate licorice ferns. Rainbow Creek is born of melting snows in the subalpine meadows near Rainbow Lake. After a 6.5 mile cascading run down the mountainsides, the creek plunges 312 feet here into the broad lower valley of the Stahican River. The character of Rainbow Falls changes with the seasons. High volume snow melt in the spring turns the falls into a roaring torrent, generating billowing clouds of mist. During dry summer periods, water volume decreases. In the winter, the falls are sometimes transformed into a towering icicle. The hike diverts and you can go to the bottom or about to the midsection. I recommend you take both paths. Okay, that was the lower trail, and now we're going to hike up the upper trail. Wait till you see what's at the top. The view is even more spectacular. Is that possible? Do not forget to subscribe. As I mentioned, we went one time in the winter time, and this is when we got to see Rainbow Falls in this majestic way. And that winter, the next stop was the airport for some silly fun in the snow. Can you believe it? We're sitting on a picnic table. Just the other day we were there and it was springtime and the airport was clear of snow. And so was that picnic table. Isn't that funny? We ran into a couple that had rented these scooters. One of the historic sites is the Stahican School. Many of our friends that live there at Stahican attended this school, but now there is a brand new beautiful school. The door is open, so walk on in and take a gander. Did your school desk look like this? Have you ever typed on one of these typewriters? Have you ever played an LP? Leave a comment below. The Stahican School is a registered National Historic Place. In the next video, we will go hiking in Stahican. And in the final video, I'll take you to some incredible waterfalls and the Stahican River. You are not going to believe how phenomenal and fantastic the sights are. 
along the river. Hiking boots on the ground on Classic Road Trip. <laughs>